What's up guys? So this is how it looks. Back seat. So I'm gonna start off with the headrest. I would just suggest if you're gonna do the seat covers, start with the headrest, then do this part, the upper, and then the, finally the lower. That way you're not you don't have your knees all over the leather on this part when you're putting the top. So what I'm gonna do right now, I'm, just, I'm gonna remove the headrest. Just lift it up. First the button on this side. Then take take it off. Same for the passenger side. And let me show you the rear. To take the headrest off. All you want to do is press one of these buttons, lift it all the way up, then press both of them and take it off. Uh, be careful when you're taking them off because these tubes are super greasy especially if they're brand new so you might want to wash your hands so you don't stain the headrest so I'll do that and then I'll continue to the next one now for the middle one you could just pull it up and press the button on this side and that's it right now I'm in the driver's side so all the buttons are super easy to get to now I'm gonna switch over to the passenger side so it's a little bit easier to get to hey guys here I have uh, the leather seat covers for the Toyota Tacoma I opened up the box this is pretty much how it comes uh, as you can see right here it's leather black 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 for the Tacoma uh, I like it how they they set it up so pretty much it comes with the small stuff first which is what I was saying you should start with first so you start with the headrest which I or as you saw me in the previous video how to take my hour in the previous clip how to take me off so you take off the headrest of this passenger driver passenger rear uh, I mean driver rear center and passenger rear um, so everything comes as it's supposed to here's the paper it shows you so the letters 22 21 10 a each one of them has so let's say the center armrest and the little thing here has the c 10 ar 10 ar so you can match them up headrest 10 hr so i'm gonna start with the headrest first the front headrest and um but yeah here's center console I'll, I'll lay it out let me do that first and i'll show you one little thing i wanted to point out they come latched so you might you're gonna have to pull them apart they just show you how pretty much to give you an example how they should be closed so there's no play in it so that's how they're supposed to be once they're on the headrest all right guys so here we are this is the center one which is it has it inside i don't know if you can see there 20 hr which is the one in the center and the way you know it's because it's the smallest one same with this one i left this one closed but i opened up the other one uh, and this one is 20 hr which is the headrest in the rear the ones in the front are 10 hr but you could tell the difference they're much bigger than the ones in the back hey guys i just wanted to show you there's instructions how to put it on so you can put them on while it's in the truck maybe that's the easiest way i'm gonna try and put it on while it's off as you can see the front is the one with the long tab this thing and and you'll see the here where it's stitched the rear is uh we're just solid there's nothing but the and they also big of the plastic tab so i'm trying to put it on it's not super easy but um we'll figure it, i'll figure it out and i'll show you here's showing you what to do once i put it on I'll show you the rest of the steps. Alright guys, here we go with the other one. So now I'm going to be more specific. 
So this one. So they come hooked. Take it off. So this is the front side with the stitches. This is the rear. I'm still doing the front headdress. Pretty much you want to match it up to the factory. See, this stitching is right there. Back. So what you want to do is put your headdress on the floor. Grab the front, pull this tab out and the back one out. And try and stretch this out as much as possible. Then just put it on like this. Try and get one side started, then pull down on the other side. Sometimes it's easier if you squeeze the headrest, slide it in, then flip it around, squeeze the headrest, start sliding it down. Make sure you pull the tabs out. There we go. Then just start doing this one, one side at a time. Flip it sideways. Then push it down. Try and get more into the angle so you can see. I mean, by no means it's easy but it's not difficult somewhere in the middle just takes a lot of moving around so the thing you heard rip was this one guess whatever pretty much just to let you know where it goes just keep working it down like this This one's almost on. I need to pull this one. There we go. Try and make sure it's lined up. Slide it this way a little bit. fingers under here, squeeze this in, just keep putting it, keep it again. Try and match all the lines here. This one's a little bit off. And just push it down more. Okay, so that's pretty much. Let me just check the head wrist one more time. Trying to make sure all the lines are. Looks pretty good. wrist what do is flip it let it leave it flip then just insert it into that slot
pretty much you flip it then push the whole thing in all right guys here's the one in the center uh the middle for the rear seat it came out perfect i would suggest getting started with this one if it's your first time putting on a leather seat covers uh sorry i didn't get a video of it i thought i was recording and i wasn't but this one's super simple just slide on the cover from the front squeeze the headrest super easy to squeeze then just start sliding the back it's literally gonna take you like two minutes to put this one on where the other ones take like five to seven minutes uh yeah it sucks that i it wasn't recording because this one's super easy it was a perfect example but it's pretty much the same thing as the other one so just put it on then flip this in and slide it in all right guys so this is the head race cover so since it's not on it's, it's super easy to show you right now so what you want to do once your head wrist is on the wrist cover is on you'll see this J hook on the bottom and then this I hook so what you want to do is flip the I hook in like this and slide it into the J hook like this you might want to get started with one side and push it down you'll feel it and then we go see there we go I can't take it apart no more see I'll, I'll pull on it just to show you it's not going anywhere where if you put it just straight like this without flipping it it looks all right but once you pull on it let me spray it again there we go it's in when you pull on it it comes off here are all the headrests done. It is such a, uh, quite a job. It took about an hour to do all of them. So again, if you've never done it before, which I haven't, I would suggest starting with the rear. First you want to start with the center. That's the easiest one. Then go to the uh, sides and then go to the fronts because the fronts are such a pain yeah but yeah start first second and then last okay, I'm putting the center console armrest on all you need to do is just untie the velcro stupid thing uh, video got corrupted I saw so all you that's all you do at the beginning then just start sliding the stuff over uh, it's gonna be pretty hard getting the back on but let me do that and I'll tell you how I did it all right guys it's on uh, as you can see it pretty much look, looks factory uh, let me just make sure everything closes like it's supposed to what you want to do is you want to stretch this end over same with the other side, stretch it over and then just put the velcro on and close it. it closes a little bit you need to put a little bit more pressure that's what I'm noticing you need to put a little bit more pressure on the to close it but it still closes down but this is how it looks all right guys here i have another seat cover this one's for the front passenger as you can see it says 11 uh, and here on the little chart it tells us 11 is the passenger side so we're gonna put this on 
All right, guys. So the first thing you want to do before putting the seat cover on, back rest cover on, you're gonna take the head rest off. And on the instructions, it tells you to take off. Well, this is to the bottom, but it's the same. You still need to apply it. You need to remove the tabs. This ones. So it's pretty much the a hook. It hooks to some like metal parts on the seat. Uh, there was like, absolutely no way I can show you. It's super tight under here. All you need to do is just reach under and just rotate them. And try and uh, stick your finger in there on this thing and pry it out. Because, yeah, it's super hard. Now what you want to do is continue putting the head, uh, cover on. And I'll show you this. Once you got your cover like halfway down, oh yeah, check your pockets, make sure there's nothing back here, which I don't because it's brand new. You're going to flip this bottom piece that you unhooked. You're gonna flip it up and leave it like this once you put the uh, leather cover on. Pretty much like the same thing as the headrest. Just side to side motion. Grab it from the back, slide it down. The front, slide it down. And just keep breaking. Cover it down. Okay, so. Let me show you around the back since I'm more than halfway on the seat. Okay, so now that the cover's down halfway, what you want to do is roll this one up and tuck it behind the cover. There's some Velcro back here. Make sure Velcro to it. Break it down. Let me from the other side and show you what I'm how I'm working it down. Okay, so I'm almost there. So now as you can see there's holes in top. What you want to do is work this thing in. I'm gonna have to do it with two hands. Let me set up the tripod again so I, for a better okay. angle. So what you wanna do is push this in. Just work it around. As you can see it's going in. And there we go. Just massage the seed. Then same here. Massage the seed so it looks better. And now continue pulling down. Let me finish this. Now what I'm gonna do is I wanna continue pulling down on the seat cover. Both on the sides. Make sure everything lines up up here, which it does. I'll bring it around the front in a little bit. Now up here what you want to do is this part you want to shove it inside through the seat down there. Make sure this is perfect and then just push it in. Push this one in. I like see it's looking way better now. All right, guys. Here's the other part. As you can see, this is number twelve. And number twelve is the seat for this one. So what you want to do is you want to untie this belt first. So what you want to do now is put this cover on first. 
the front. Then throw the um, this part under the seat. You want to make sure you don't you're not covering the bar. You just tuck it up and make sure it's good here. And then we're gonna head to the back. All right, guys. So pretty much everything's ran now. What you want to do is start the piece and push it with the little plastic tool that they give you. Push it down into the seat. Everything is good. So the straps, I just ran them to the back and tied them behind the seat. Pretty much like the instructions say, this one's hanging a little bit, but whatever. I right, fell down. I'll find another hook. All right, guys. Here's the two front seats. Done. Pretty much looks. Looks factory. Let's see, I still need to finish the ones in the back. There's still the cloth seats, but I gotta say, what a difference! This one, yeah, they have a little bit of play, you can see, but they're gonna wear in. Yeah, let me show you the back. See? They have a pocket, pretty much like a factory. The hooks, I can't see, but it's not sagging. All right, guys. So this is the result of the seat and stuff. Pretty much for the back, it was, the backs, it was the same process as the front, just that they're longer and flatter. I didn't record it because it's repetitive are the front seats but as you can see it pretty much looks like it's um it was uh like their factory I'll show you the back Alright guys, there's more videos to come, please subscribe and um, see you in the next one.